So we're checking in for week two of Mark Prol's budget. Last week was okay, um, kinda okay. I really find it checking in probably one of the most important things that I do on my budget, mainly because it's all very well and good. Ugh, there's cat hair in the air. It's all very well and good to make a budget, but are you sticking to it and making sure that you're checking in each week to make sure that the plan's going to plan, if that makes sense. What do you want? <laughs> I think even if I didn't have a YouTube channel, I'd still be checking in just because I find it so useful to make sure that I'm sticking to the plan and it's really encouraging for me. Hi guys, gals and non-binary pals, welcome back to Budget with Ira. If you don't know me, my name is Ira and I am currently on a debt-free stroke budgeting, stroke savings journey. I used to have over £13,000 worth of debt and I've currently reduced that down to two very, very small debts that I'm very, very comfortable with. Life has hit me left, right and centre at the moment and I'm still coping through it. If you'd like to support me in that journey, please consider subscribing, it means a lot. So anyway, back to the check-in for last week, not too bad. I have some overspends, but I have some underspends as well. I mean, it's all swings and roundabouts. I did want to mention thank you so much for the truly huge amount of love and support that I got from the previous video. In the last video, I told you how I lost my job and my budget's gonna be tough for the next couple months until I sort of get myself back on my feet. The love and support has been overwhelming, but I still really feel like I need to make it very, very clear to you. Please, please, please do not feel that you are under any obligation to support me on Etsy. I'm happy for you to support me within your means. And if you want to buy budgeting things and you want to buy from me, thank you so much. But please don't buy for the sake of it because you just feel like you have to. You don't have to. But thank you if you have, because it means a lot. I honestly don't think I could rest my head on the pillow at night if um, you felt like you had to buy something to support me. That That's not why I do what I do. But anyway, having said that, I've got lots of orders to do, so I really need to crack on with this video. So without further ado, let's take a look at my budget sheets. Okay, so we're in the A5 mini budget booklet. This is available on my Etsy store. It also comes with some free stickers, which I'm also using today. Today we are checking in from the 18th to the 24th, so let's get cracking. On the 18th, I spent £10 on fish and chips out of my personal spending money. The 19th was a no spend day, so that makes number four. I had a fifth no spend day on the Sunday the 20th. On the 21st, I went to go and see a friend and had a wonderful day, but I did have to drive quite a while, so I put £30 of petrol in my tank. We went to the beach and I bought an ice cream and then we had dinner at her place, but we had a roast, so that was free. So all I spent was £3. The next day I went to Aldi and I spent the full £30 on groceries. Car insurance came out the next day and it has gone slightly up and it's 27.24. And the next day Sky came out and it was 26 pounds. So that's all of my spending for last week. It's not very much, but I've been quite busy at home, not doing much. So now we are gonna move over to the check-in pages. Let's go ahead and check in for week two. So we're gonna start by filling in everything that we already know. Okay, so let's start with spending. So I spent three pounds and 10 pounds. So I spent the full 13 pounds last week, which left me with a zero. Nothing to show you there, so let's just move on. When it came to groceries, I spent the full 30 pounds. The reason why I have no change is because we spent a little bit over, but Jake put that on his card. We're talking like two quid, something like that. Nothing to roll over. I spent 30 pounds on petrol, but I allocated myself 20. So I spent 30, so that's an overspend of 10 pounds. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do about that later. Uh, for haircut, I didn't get a haircut again, so I've still got that 30 pounds. I do need to do that. For unbudgeted, there were no unbudgeted spends, so nothing there. That is probably the quickest check-in I've ever done ever. Last week I spent 73, which is 10 pounds over what I wanted to do. And that is because of the petrol and I will be rolling over 30 pounds into 
next week and that is just for the haircut. Okay, that's that done. Let's move over to the paycheck bill tracker. So when we move over to bills, there's only actually two things to account for and that is car insurance, which has gone up. It's 27.24. I missed the renewal day. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. I don't know if I'm locked in for a year now or I just had so much on and a lot of stress. So I kind of missed it. So, I mean, it's a five or more, which is gonna be a bit more throughout the year, but I probably could get it cheaper than that. I just don't know what the rules are. So they, I know they definitely sent me an email to warn me that it was going up, but I just didn't do anything about it. So it's probably something I just have to live with. Never mind. Okay, 20. Uh, okay, so Sky was £26 as well. And that is all of everything. So that's done. That was a really quick one. There's nothing to do with any change or anything like that. So what we're gonna go ahead and do now is my cash stuffing for the week. Okay, so we are here with the budget binder and we have my cash envelopes for this week. So these are completely empty and we're ready to replenish them for the new week. So starting with groceries, I give myself 30 pounds a week and if I can get it out, I'm gonna give myself 30 and that gives me 30 pounds for next week, which will be the final week in this pay period. I still got the 30 pounds for my haircut in the back, which as you can probably tell from the intro, I definitely need. Now, moving over to petrol, I have 30 pounds in that. And that is because I've already taken 10 pounds out and put it into the bank where I overspent it. So this is next week's 20, and this is what's remaining based off of my overspend for last week. So I'm actually only gonna stuff 10 pounds. I do need to drive far tomorrow, but I think this will be enough because I still have quite a lot left in my tank. So I'm going to put that in there. I haven't been in this situation with petrol ever. Um, so let's see what happens. Okay. And then finally, we have my spending money. So I give myself 30 pounds, 5, 10, 15, 20, and 30. And then this is next week's money, 5, 10, 15, 20, and 30. Okay, so before I stuff this, I roll my 1050 dice challenge. This is a dice challenge that's available on my Etsy store. With this envelope, you get a 20-sided dice. You roll that each week or however often you want to stuff and you save however much the dice is showing you. On the back of the envelope, you have one to 20 as many times as you like. I'm doing the 1050 challenge because I want to save 1,050 pounds. So I have the numbers five times. So let's go ahead and roll for this week. Hopefully we have a nice round number, like a five or a 10. Let's see what we get. Are you joking me? Another 20. You guys. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, I'm going to keep two fives and put that in. Well, listen, these 20s have got to happen eventually, haven't they? So I'd rather I got them out of the way while I can rather than have to really worry about it. I haven't got much to do this week, so a tenner should be more than enough. Okay, first number that we've got on the second row. Oh, 20 pounds. <laughs> okay, I will be all right with 10 pounds. It's just lots of weeks on a row. I might need to, actually no, do you know what? I've been coping really well with low, because I'm not going to work, um, it's, I've not had needed to spend on anything. So it's not been bad at all. I don't know what I'm moaning about, actually. Yeah, this is fine. Thanks so much for sticking with me this week. I know that this one was a short and sweet one with not much money left over to do. I know it's a bit disappointing when that happens, but we've had a lot of very good check-ins recently. So there had to be one where I spent right up to the limit and then got a massive roll on the die. So it's just the way that luck is kind of working out for me at the moment. <laughs> Hi guys, gals and non bypass thank you so much for getting through to the end of the video. You know I love it when you get through to the end of the video. I love it, thank you. Please make sure you give this video some love, make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe. And if you are gonna comment, please use this emoji. Other than that, I'm gonna love you and leave you. I have got lots of videos to film today and I've got lots of editing to do today. I've got some exciting stuff coming. I really hope you like it and 
Oh my god, I got something new coming in my Etsy store as well, which I'm so excited about. I've just got loads to show you. I can't wait to do it. I'm just feeling all nervous and excited about it. Oh, <laughs> say hello, Simon. Not even bothered, is he? Not even bothered. Mwah. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again really, really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. And if you would like to support me over on Patreon, please take a look at the link in the description. You will not regret it, bestie.